All right, what's going on guys? This is your boy Texas Screwhead and I'm back with another video. Today is gonna be on the Impala. So recently, that day actually, I uploaded the car meet. Uh, my check engine line popped up and it threw a P0400 code. I did some research and it looks like it's the EGR valve. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that today. I had to order mine, finally got it. Um, yeah, it's gonna be located right back here. So I'm gonna show you the process on how to replace this. And some signs that I had lately was um, the car was just having a hard time trying to start. It just wouldn't crank, like it would crank. If anything, it, it would die right away. So yeah, and then uh, luckily I got to drive it home safe. It was actually throwing smoke through one side. So hopefully it's that. If not, it might be a gasket leak. But today, I'm gonna show you how to fix that, all right? All right guys, so I went ahead and take it off. So first I took this uh, cover off and then it just held by two uh, 13 millimeters screws. Uh, just wanna undo those, uh, undo the vacuum line that's on top here. And then another good thing that I saw around online, they said to check your hoses, make sure they're not cracked, obviously. I mean, this car is like 25 years old, so lines do just tend to cracked uh, but mine's were all good and then I did see another video that the good way to test this is if you would push this down put your thumb in here where the air would come in and it should hold it as you see this one doesn't really hold at all so that's a sign you have a bad one so we're just gonna go ahead and replace it I'm gonna take off the gasket it has in the back Or I was trying to. Oh my god. I was just peeling it. I think it fell. Oh no, it's still on there. It's on there pretty good. It's kind of a pain that's in the back, but to be honest, not too hard to get off really. Like I said, it just held on by those two screws right there. And then make sure it can it comes with a new gasket. You don't want to obviously use your old ones. Always want to repair those. Cause that could be one of your main problems. And here it is. So it goes just like that. Here's the old one. And I got a head mount guys, so I probably look crazy. That's what I'm trying to do with this at night. See if I can open this. And here's the new one. With the new gasket as well. So. This one actually has a gripper down. And then I could just hear it. Press it down. Hold it, let go, and it goes up. So yeah, this is the new one, new gasket. Um, I don't have any seal or anything like that, so my hope uh, I don't need any. I know some people like to use like glue or some shit like that, but we ain't got that shit here, cut. So that's just gonna go like this. Make sure the nipple's pointing up. So I'm gonna install this real quick. And uh, hopefully that does it guys. Alright guys, I got everything back together. Tightened it on there. Checked my lines. My lines are good. I didn't see any cracks or anything on mine. So just kind of ran through that wire. See what's going on. Um, so you do have some lines over here. I believe it's going to be under your throttle body. And then of course check this side. Probably should have showed y'all before this. But it's right here where the, the last... I actually changed beforehand that should be about it I'm gonna just disconnect the battery real quick reset the system but yeah check your lines first guys because that might be y'all's problem and then there's a way to clean this as well but you get some like um, brake cleaners and just wash it all through that could help it but I mean I just went ahead and replaced it because the car is old like I was saying so whatever you know uh, so yeah, let me disconnect the battery, plug it back in, and then start it to what happens. 
Hold on guys. Moment of truth. <laughs> Also felt like it was like vibrating when I started it. Like, like something was definitely wrong. Check the back. Make sure it's not smoking. When I ran it, the one of the tailpipes was throwing hella smoke. You can kind of tell this one is throwing a little bit of smoke right now. smell like gas a lot. I, mean, I don't know if that's normal, but it smells like gasoline a lot. I think that was one of the things that could cause it. But this vehicle is shaking a lot, actually. Like it's trembling a little bit too much. But let me let it run for a little bit. See, so check engine light is still flashing, guys. So, dang it. Definitely not that. So, I'm gonna have to do some research. Some more research. See what it is, guys. And also did notice overnight, I have a leak going on. A coolant leak. It is a slow leak, so it's nothing major. Um, I did check the opening right here. I don't know if y'all could see that. There's like a little drain plug for the radiator. It's not from there. But actually, when, before I started working on this, I actually noticed it's coming from right here. I'm not sure if it's something I could fix, but it doesn't look like it. I think it's a crack in the radiator. You guys see right here on the top, it's leaking. You guys see right there, my hand is a little bit wet. But yeah, guys, that's what's going on with the Impala right now at this moment. So, I mean, maybe I should let it run for a little bit more, but I don't want to risk it. Man, I think it might be a head gasket leak I have going on in this car. If it is, then it's going to the shop. To be honest, guys, I don't know if I should put money into this motor. Or should we just swap the motor, guys? What do y'all think? You think it's time or should I go ahead and fix it? Well, guys, so yeah, it looks like I'm going to need a new radiator for it. Most likely, I mean, I don't know if I could fix that. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research because I literally just found this out today. Um, it does have a small leak in it. Although it is starting to leak a little bit more now. Before it was just small drips. It's starting to drip out the driveway now. Dang it, guys. Dang it, dang it, dang it. At first, that code popped up a while back. I'm not gonna lie, so. I was kind of driving it with the check engine code on and took it to AutoZone, see what it was. That's when they told me it was a P0400 and I figured it was the EGR valve. Which I'm pretty sure it was. You know, it's just something else popped up now. I'm trying to get all this gunk out. It was going to be a tutorial video and well, I guess it, it is, but now it's just really an update on what's going on with the uh, with the Impala. So right now she's not drivable. Luckily, I have the sexy R1 to drive with. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna try to start it again. See what I can do for it. But as in right now, she's not looking good, guys. She is not looking good at all. 
Thank you guys. Alright guys, well, if y'all have any uh, tips, advice, let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, let me know if y'all know what this could be or what, what it is. Worst case scenario, it's a head gasket leak. That's where, it's probably where my problem is. Just don't want to take it to a shop because I know they're going to run me up a stack, man. I already know. Yeah, as y'all see right here, it is spitting from one side only. And it's actually leaking the gas. The other side is doing all right. Man, this smell is really strong too, so definitely something wrong. I'm gonna cut the engine off. Then I'm gonna do some more research, guys. I mean, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. It's gonna be a short video, so hope you like this video on how to install the EGR valve. <laughs> Besides that, man, keep me updated. Let me know down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, see you on next video, guys. Deuces.